Pro Presenter version 20 is here, and I'm about to do a deep dive into the new remote app to control Pro Presenter. The Pro Presenter remote app has been around for a while now, updated in 2020 for Pro Presenter 7, and then has only received minor bug fixes over the past five years. Now they have released a completely new app called Pro Presenter Remote, and then changed the name of the old one to Pro Presenter Remote Classic. Both apps are now available on iPhone, iPad, or Android devices. The new app can also be downloaded from the App Store on Mac. This is a new way to control ProPresenter that was never possible before. The new remote app was released with the new update of ProPresenter version 20 and moving forward will be the primary remote app. The classic remote app still exists and is required for use with ProPresenter versions before version 20. And yes, you can only use the new remote app if you're running ProPresenter version 20 or beyond. In ProPresenter settings on the network tab, this has always been the spot where you needed to enable network in ProPresenter. Once network is toggled on, ProPresenter remote also needs toggled on as well as you need to set a password. They have moved some things around in here and there are now two sections to enable ProPresenter Remote and enable ProPresenter Remote Classic. This means for the time being there is support for the Classic app to control ProPresenter version 20 and beyond, but as we will see, the Classic app has a lot less features. The new app is also free, so there's really no reason to not switch to the new app. If you wanna change looks, props, or click macros from a mobile device, then you're gonna love the new ProPresenter Remote app. Because the Classic app is still gonna be around for a while, let's take a look at what was available in the Classic app. Users could change stage display layouts, play audio, stop, reset, and start timers. You could add and show messages. Then navigating to the library, you could navigate between playlists and run slides by selecting presentation item slides. Now let's take a look through the new remote app. Let's get started by selecting between the multiple libraries. Mult libraries have become a way to separate out users in ProPresenter. Main service between youth so that each group can store their stuff in their library. In the app, users can now select between multiple libraries, open playlists, select slides. When there is content on the timeline, you're gonna also see the timeline controls at the bottom. Controls to clear layers are also in the bottom right. See what layers are currently populated, then clear specific layers or clear all layers. Tap the dots in the top right to click follow presentation so that when slides are changing on the main purpose in our application, they update here. Also change the slide size or toggle to slide list view. On the remote tab, tap or swipe the slides to advance to the next slide. The clear layer controls are again in the bottom right. In the top right, we have toggles to show the next presentation, to hide the clears, to show slide notes. Finally, we have lock remote, which means the app won't have control of ProPresenter. This toggle removes the menu bar at the bottom and locks the app to this remote screen. In the now classic version of this app, this was previously possible by enabling remote or enabling viewer. Next on the timers tab, select a timer and now we have controls to reset, start, change the timer type, as well as set the duration and allow for overrun. Next we have the macros tab where we change between grid and list as well as change the size of the macros that are being shown. We can also select macro collections from this drop down in the top right. I love this because like in ProPresenter, we can see the actions assigned to the macros. Tap to trigger one of these macros. On the final tab called more, tap edit in the top right. Here we can organize the icon tabs, change the default tabs assigned to the menu bar or change what order the tabs are in. Let's look at the rest of the tabs. We start with Audio, where we can play pause songs. In the top right, change the view, adjust size, and change audio playlists. On the stage tab, here we can change the layouts of the configured stage display screens. We can also type in a message to be displayed on a stage display. This requires that a text box with stage message is configured on a stage display layout. Messages is the next tab, which is displayed on the audience outputs, while the previous messages were displayed on the stage display screens. When you set up a message for the audience screen, it typically goes something like name, comma, please come to room, room, 
where name and room are set up as tokens that need answered before the phrase goes on the screen. This is the personal information. The remote app gives us a really nice place to fill in these tokens. Then we can tap show and hide to put the message on and off the screen. Next, we have props. You can change the view in the top right or select the desired collection. Now we can tap on any of our configured props to send them to the output in ProPresenter. Next, we have looks and it's super easy to tap through the configured ProPresenter looks. Settings is the final tab where we can keep device awake and log out to connect to other instances of ProPresenter. As you can see, this remote app is better than ever. I mentioned this app is for iPhone, iPad, and Android, but it also can be installed from the Mac App Store. This means that we can use a second Mac to remotely control the main ProPresenter computer or install it on the same Mac as ProPresenter is running to give your operator a simpler looking interface. I wanna be clear that the purpose of this app is remote control of ProPresenter. All your setup work still needs to happen on the main ProPresenter interface. I also still recommend dragging and dropping macros to slides for worship for sermon, scripture, and notes, as well as video macros, full screen macros. If you wanna learn more about how to get these macros, check out my other videos, as well as my ProPresenter template, which is available on my website at crazyamazingdesigns.com. Dragging these macros to the first slide of songs or to the appropriate area will set up the looks, the stage screen layouts to be triggered by the slide click, even from the remote app. I love that the remote app allows me to quickly trigger macros now from my phone. If I notice something was missed versus walking to the ProPresenter computer and pushing the macro, I can now use my remote app on my phone. That way when the operator is running ProPresenter from either the main interface or the remote application, they just focus on advancing slides. All the macros and changes are automatically happening when they click each slide. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Have a nice day. Bye.